On a remote mountainside in northern Greece, the final pieces of the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline, or TAP, are put in place. This $5 billion project is part of a 3,500 kilometer long pipeline that will bring natural gas from the Caspian Sea to Europe. It's the so-called Southern Corridor, due to start flowing in just over a year, and it turns Greece into an energy transit country for the first time. TAP puts Greece uh, in the geostrategic map, the energy map of Europe and of Southeast Europe. It connects the Southeast uh, European market with the main European market through Italy. It is important that uh, it diversifies the energy mix both in Southeast Europe but also in, in uh, in the European market in general. Europe produces only a third of the gas it consumes and buys another third from Russia. Its own reserves are dwindling and it is trying to reduce dependence on Russia. This pipeline is the European Union's first major attempt to diversify its supply away from Russian gas. It acquired urgency after 2009, when the Russian state gas company Gazprom stopped supplies to Europe through Ukraine for two weeks. The shortages caused factory shutdowns and severe hardship in southeast Europe. New gas discoveries in the eastern Mediterranean could make Greece the transit country for another major pipeline that's under consideration. East Med would satisfy another 3% of European consumption by bringing Israeli and Cypriot gas under the sea to Greece and Italy. Wider your gas supplier network, obviously uh, you have better chances of securing more competitive gas prices. So in that sense, getting one more supplier of gas definitely increases competition and also improves your security of supply. Greece is also building a pipeline that will connect its gas grid to Bulgaria's, so gas from the Caspian will flow into Southeast Europe, where Russia is often the sole major supplier. That'll be good news for consumers who cannot currently afford to connect to the gas grid. By lowering energy costs, the new pipeline can make the economy more competitive for years to come. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Castoria.